I'm going to tell him. Yes, tonight. Well, you know, I really don't care how he takes it. All right, look, that's not exactly true. I mean, I do care. I've just made up my mind and we're going through with it. Well, look, you're gonna be there when I get there tonight, right? Well, you never know, I might need some solace. Can't wait for what? How long have you been standing there listening? Answer my question. How long? Long enough. Too long. Oh, that's good. Little liquid courage, huh, babe? You see, that way you can drop the bomb on me, but you won't feel the explosion, right? I just had to marry a writer. Oh. How typical of you. You pick on the wording so you can miss the message. You know, I used to love the way you talked to me. Well, I guess you love the way he talks to you now. Huh? Oh, come on, just stop it. <laughs> now, you love this. Huh? My loving wife is not taking it from another guy. Get your hands off of me. <laughs> so much for female empowerment, huh? Stop. You're hurting me. Well, guess what? You're hurting me, too. <laughs> Clean up that mess before it stains the carpet. was a cop and good at his job, but he committed the ultimate sin and testified against other cops gone bad. Cops that tried to kill him, but got the woman he loved instead. Framed for murder, now he prowls the Badlands, an outlaw hunting outlaws, a bounty hunter, a renegade. So what? I'll be out again soon. Now, if you were a woman, I could get away. Women are so stupid, especially women judges. I always wait till they sign me one of them. Then I just flash my killer smile, I give them my look. I got this look, you know, sort of smoky and bewildered. Boom, they melt. All women. Any woman, I like butter in my hands. I, I know you're not a cop, you're a bounty hunter. But, but cops are, like, so stupid. And, and lady cops, they gotta be the dumbest of all. I, I got this half bale of sense Amelia in my trunk, and this patrol babe pulls me over. I, I can't believe, like, she doesn't even smell. But she's a woman. So, so, so right away I give her, I give her my look, boom. She's hypnotized. I wish I could bottle it and shell it instead of sleep. I'd be richer than Jim Neighbors. But anyway, she says pop the trunk. So I get all teary-eyed and tell her, my old faithful dog's in there. A golden retriever named Lady. She got run over by a bus. So I'm laying it out pretty thick. I'll say. 
So before you know it, she's comforting me. Do doesn't even run me or nothing. She lets me go, and she gives me her phone number. Can you believe it? Nope. Who the hell is she? Your escort to San Diego's finest. Works for me. What planet did he come from? Not this one. <gasps> <gasps> Okay, Bozo, let's go. Come on. See, Tommy? You should have a little more respect for the gentler sex. Nice. Thanks. I was really trying to get away from you. No, I thought you were training for the Olympics. You see, that's where you're wrong. I was testing you. All my life, I've been looking for my match in a woman. A chick with guts, spirit, taste. Yeah, that's right. Hi, you shy. Hi, Clancy. What do you got for me? He's one in Arcata, possession of pot with intent to sell, and a bail skip. Five grand. Ooh, what do you say we go to Vegas this weekend? I think your wife might have checked. Oh, I'll go. Please, will you? This is crazy, man. I didn't kill anybody. I couldn't kill anybody. Man. Matt Dwyer? Cheyenne. Help me. A friend of yours? Yeah. What's that all about? Guy killed his wife. Blew her away last night. He's going to lockup. Can I see him, Ben? Well, you don't mind waiting while they process him. And mug him and print him. And take more statements in triplicate. And file their reports. Hey, I got time. I'm in no hurry here. You want me to do what? Post his bail. Post bail for a murderer that I've never even met? Alleged murderer. He says he's innocent. Go ahead, tell me one more time how you met this guy. He was my teacher when I took creative writing a few years ago. Ah, so you barely knew him. Well, I almost went out with him. Almost? He was engaged to someone else. Somebody that he killed? Will you stop? I told you he didn't do it. I see, so you met this gentleman for, say, uh, 10 minutes and you believe that he's innocent. And it's no worse than you deciding he's guilty. Oh, yes, it is. 10,000 bucks worse. He and his wife were on the rocks. They argued, things got a little rough. He left the house to cool off, and when he got back, she was dead. Yes. Bobby, what kind of killer dials his own 911 call? A smart one. Fine. Sorry I asked. I'll bail him out myself. All right, all right, all right. Hold it. So you tell me what makes you so sure he's innocent, hmm? I'm a good judge of character. Characters change, sis. If you're right, I'm wrong. He bolts, Reno brings him back. What are you so worried about? State of California versus Dwyer, Matthew. Mr. Dwyer, you are charged with the crime of murder in the first degree. How do you plead? Not guilty. Mr. Piazza, I understand the state has a request regarding bail. Your Honor, due to the viciousness of this crime and the strength of the state's case, we request that bail be denied. Objection. Your Honor, the defendant has absolutely no previous criminal record, and the strength of the state's case will be determined in trial. Your Honor, the coroner has determined that the victim was killed by the first shot, a bullet to the head. Yet the killer continued to fire five more rounds into the body. Now consider the rage of the person who fired those shots. Objection, Your Honor. These are matters for the trial, not the bail hearing. Sustained. Have you arranged for bail, Mr. Dwyer? Well, I've tried, Your Honor, but it seems the district attorney's office has frozen all my assets. We froze the victim's assets, Your Honor. She was a very wealthy woman, and we believe that wealth has bearing on the killer's motive. Six killer enterprises. We've arranged bail, Your Honor. Very well. The court hereby grants the defendant bail in the amount of $100,000. $100,000? I can't find the words to thank you guys. You're right. You can't, so don't even try. Don't listen to him. He's all bark. But what do we do now? Well, we start trying to clear you. You can do that? I thought you guys were just bounty hunters. With $100,000 in the line, this is when we become Sherlock Holmes. I didn't kill her, Bobby. She was cheating on me. I mean, I felt like killing her, yeah. I even thought about it. But I didn't do it. You gotta believe me. 
So we're gonna check out his story. We're gonna get to the bottom of it. And I don't want you to assume that this guy's innocent. Don't tell Shy I told you that. You think we're backing a loser? I can't put my finger on it. There's something about him that's bogus. People do get falsely accused of things, even murder. Oh, very funny. Will you lighten up? With $100,000 on the line? This isn't about money. It's about protecting your sister. Well, why shouldn't I protect my sister? She's the only family that I've got. Look, I care about her too, all right? Now, you and I go out on the limb for people all the time. Why shouldn't she? Because. Because why? Because she's... Because she's a woman? No, not because she's a woman. Yes. No. It's, it's because she's emotionally involved, all right? She's sensitive. Oh, right. And we're a couple of hard cases that don't give a damn about anybody. Well, no matter what happens, it was great seeing you again. Likewise. It's really great to have somebody believe in me. You got that. <sighs> you know, I really shouldn't be feeling what I'm feeling. Probably not. We should give it some time. Yeah. I mean, under the circumstances, who really knows what they're feeling? Absolutely. Maybe when this is over. Right. Because it would be different then. I'd be more sensible. Mature. Right. <laughs> like I said, totally sensible. Sensible. <laughs> valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me, in front of mine enemies. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. So why the cloak and dagger routine, huh, detective? I'll tell you once. We already have our killer, and I don't want you muddying up the case. Cop, judge, impressive. What are you gonna do, you gonna serve on the jury next, huh? Maybe throw the switch on the electric chair? Look, Dwyer did it. He took her own 38 and he emptied it into her. Yeah, well, I read that arrest report. You don't have that gun. It's missing. He tossed it. They live at the beach. Right. And you've never seen a case where some guy breaks into a house and uses the owner's own gun, have you? Yeah, I've seen those. But never one where the owner was worth seven figures and nothing else was stolen except the murder weapon. So stay out of my case. You know, if you would ask me nicely, I might have gone along with you. But since you're so animate, it makes me wonder. Yeah, well, wonder about this. Dwyer's wife filed for divorce the very morning he shot her. They had a prenup that would have left him without a cent. But now that she's dead, he inherits everything. I bet your client neglected to mention that. Matt told you about this? About the divorce, yes. About the money he stood to gain. It didn't come up. 
Oh, he's just full of surprises. Hey. Don't hey me. This whole thing stinks. Why? Because some cop doesn't want you learning anything that might conflict with his version of the truth? No, because you're too involved. You're too involved. Where it really hurts in your wallet. Sorry. Forget it. No witness, no gun. Why are they trying to railroad a case that's all circumstantial? Reminds me of Reno's story. Don't remind me. Do you want Matt to be guilty? I want you to be safe. That is what I want. I am safe. And I'm happy. Now, speaking of Reno, Matt is the first man in a long time that's actually pushed him out of my mind. That's good, sis. I'm happy for him. Well, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to investigate or babysit? Both. You know what Shai told me? What? She told me Dwyer's the first man who's interested her since the time she met you. She said that? Yeah. Should be glad for that. I mean, I love you like a brother, Reno, but realistically, you're not her best choice for a husband. <laughs> I guess not. Maybe she has this thing for accused murderers. Yeah, maybe. That's why we need to help her. What we need to do is find out the truth, not what I think you think or she thinks, but the truth. Got a plan? You're not gonna like it. Tell me anyway. Confront Dwyer. Ask him all the hard questions that she's too close to ask. You're right, I don't like it. So what are you gonna do? I can't tell you. Ah, why not? Because it's illegal and I wouldn't want to implicate you. Call you. I guess I'm a little jumpy. I wanted to catch you before you and Shy go out. Well, sure. What's the problem? Well, I'll be straight with you, Matt. Cops came to me today. Told me about your impending divorce and your prenuptial agreement. Not a pretty sight, is it? I wish you would have told me. Well, Bobby, we haven't exactly had the time. You and Shy have, and she doesn't know. <laughs> and what am I supposed to tell her, huh? Hi, I'm a penniless writer married to a rich ice queen who loves her art clients more than she does me. That's not exactly the kind of image I want to put forth to Cheyenne. Stop dancing around the issue, Matt. Well, what is the issue, Bobby? You had a pretty good motive to murder your wife. Oh, come on. You think I'd be that stupid? Murder my wife the minute she files for divorce? That's the first thing any investigator with half a brain is going to learn. Hi. Hey. What's going on? Well, Matt was just convincing me the news of his divorce would uh, clear him instead of implicate him. Trying. No, no, you're right. I'm sorry. Except. Thanks, Bobby. Hungry? I better walk. Let's go. Yeah. Bobby, I'm sorry too, man. No, it's okay. It's a nice day. Go for a nice walk. Go ahead. See you. So, Cheyenne, how'd you get that name? Same way you got yours. <laughs> No, I mean you have a Navajo brother with an Anglo name and then an Anglo stepsister with an Indian name. How come? It was the 60s. My mother raised a hippie and his dad raised a yuppie. <laughs> but you kept your dad's name? Phillips. Well, Cheyenne Six Killer was a bit much. Yeah. So, why does Bobby hate me so much? Bobby? Hmm. He doesn't hate you. He's just very protective. When we were growing up, I was the only white kid for miles around. He's just never outgrown it. So then I guess you know what it's like. To have everybody look at you like you're some kind of alien? Bad day, huh? Ugh. I tried to go home last night. The cops have it sealed off crime scene. So then I try checking into a hotel. Two reporters and a camera crew follow me into the lobby. It'll pass. Yeah. Well, sometimes I feel like just pleading guilty so everybody will get off my back. Matt, don't even think that way. I've thought more about last night. And? And I want more of it. But I think we'd both be better off waiting. 
I mean, all you need is the cops to drag in a new love affair of yours into the court. Okay. But you promised me one thing. Amen. When this is all over and I'm cleared, I get you all to myself for a long time. Ninth Precinct, Sergeant Clancy. Sergeant Clancy, Cheyenne Phillips. Oh, yeah, sweetie. Hey, did you spend that five grand yet? I haven't had time. Hey, can you run a check for me with the firearms registry database in Sacramento? Anyone in particular? Matt Dwyer. Oh, I'll be hanging up now, won't I? Come on, they take a week to get back to me, but a big shot like you gets results. Oh, boy, oh, boy. You turn me down for Vegas, and you think you can win me over with flattery? Uh-huh. I can tell you that his wife did own the 38. Well, I know that. I just wanted to confirm he didn't. You know, even if I wanted to, I couldn't. They're closed. But you could call first thing in the morning. <laughs> All right. But I want you to reconsider Vegas. You're a doll. a single steel jacket slug, just like the one that killed his wife. Oh, Bobby, this is great. We must be getting close to the real killer. Or maybe the real killer's just trying to divert suspicion by faking an attack on himself. What more do you want from me? A description. A real description. He was male, white, and about my size. That's the best I can do. Great. We've narrowed it down to 100 million people. Excuse me. Yeah, I'll be one minute, lady. You're dead now. Can't you see he's hurt? It's OK, Shy. I want to cooperate. Yeah, I'll bet. You don't have to take this, Matt. Look, detective, obviously, somebody thought that if I died, the case died with me. Well, that didn't work out, OK? It was dark, and it happened very quickly. Keep thinking. I'm going to call my office. Maybe something will come to you.
I have a cabin up near Lake Hughes. My dad's old place. I go there to write. I don't like being a target. So I'm getting out of town for a while. Why don't you come with me? Don't we have a deal about waiting? Yeah. But I'd hate to get killed before I have a chance to fulfill my end of the bargain. You better not. How was he? He'll be all right. Shy's with him right now. She must be happy. Delirious. Where have you been? I've just spent a hairy couple of hours hanging out at the Dwyer mansion. Shame on you. Yeah, you'll never guess who I ran into up there. Dennis Piazza. The DA? All by himself? Mm. Yeah. What was he doing up there? Turning the place upside down. Really? Alone? Yeah, alone. <clears throat> Mr. Six Killer, how you doing? Well, I've had better days, Detective Caruso. Me too. Who's your friend? Vince Black, he's one of my operatives. How's it going? Well, stay out of trouble. Come on, let's go. Mm, sensuous, isn't it? And how? Mm, and what a steal for 6000 It's a crime, all right. Tell me something, does this artist have any more work here? Nope. Uh, I'm afraid she um, committed suicide. Who can blame her? Yeah, well, fortunately, I believe in reincarnation, do you? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Does the gallery have a catalog? Uh, I'll go get you one. <laughs> Don't move. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. I'm uh, District Attorney Piazza. I'm investigating Mrs. Dwyer's death. I'd like to look through her things. Oh, yeah, what a terrible thing. Fortunately, I believe in reincarnation. Do you? <laughs> Guess not. Um, could you just excuse me for one second? I'm with this gentleman. At... Where'd he go? Uh, excuse me. find out who the boyfriend is. Too bad he doesn't wear monogram shirts. You see, medium built, lacrosse label, off the rack. Yeah, I used to wear this cologne. Really? Yes, it's called Savoir Faire. <laughs> oh, California versus Federson, 79. California versus McNally, 81. Hey. Wait a minute, Matt's wife was doing the mambo with a lawyer? Right so. Huh, must have been some ambulance chasing slime ball. Nope, he's a prosecutor. Hey, come here. Nice. What the hell are you doing here? Funny, we were gonna ask you the same question. Investigating a murder. Where'd you get the key? I'll ask the questions. You'll answer that one. At the victim's home. Really? That's why you put it on your personal key ring? Instead of in an evidence bag? Came here alone without any evidence text and not even one of your own staff cops. That's a lacrosse shirt with a 16 neck. You know, if I'm not mistaken, I do believe you're wearing Savoir Faire cologne. Are you going somewhere with this? Yeah, you were Marilyn Dwyer's lover. That's ridiculous. Oh, really? Why don't you send some of your lab techs out here to take a look around? If a couple of amateurs like us can find as much as we did, imagine what they'll turn up. 
I was her lover. Now you can understand even more why I want to see her killer punished. You carry a weapon? You think I killed Marilyn? That's absurd. I loved her. We were going to marry once her divorce was final. Now, what possible reason in the world would I have for killing her? Look, I am not the person on trial here. You think? The defense calls District Attorney Dennis Piazza. This is highly unusual for a preliminary hearing. I believe when you see my line of questioning, Your Honor, you will understand. You may proceed, but you're on dangerous ground. Take the stand, Mr. Piazza. Your Honor. Take the stand. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Mr. Piazza, were you acquainted with the victim, Marilyn Dwyer, prior to her death? Yes. Intimately? Yes. Louder, please, for the record. Yes. You were a lover, is that correct? Yes. In fact, both you and she maintained an apartment separate from both your own households, which you used for your romantic liaisons. Is that correct? Yes. Your Honor, I submit that all charges against my client be dropped due to prosecutorial misconduct. This information is obviously crucial to the defense and was withheld. Mr. Dwyer, the charges against you are dropped, and for now you are released on your own recognizance. Should the state wish to re-arrest and refile against the defendant, I suggest they do so with a more substantial case and a different prosecutor. Mr. Piazza, I look forward to personally instituting censure and or disbarment proceedings against you. Next case. Lots of noise and distract you completely. Ooh. Promise. I'm really nervous. Hey. Me too. Too many expectations. I got a deal for you. I'll drop all mine if you drop all yours. All of them? All of them. to write, so I think it's about time you distracted me again. I'm getting silly. Let me get dry first, okay? Ah! Ah! Excuse me. There are people who do this kind of thing, you know. Trained people in spotless jumpsuits who uh, do this for a living. 
Yeah, but will they give it tender love and care? No, but they won't bleed in your oil either. Six, killer. Bobby, Ben Clancy down at the ninth. Hey, Sarge, how you doing? What can I do for you? Your sister around? Nope, on a vacation. Shoot. She asked me to check on something for her. I just got back the answer. Mm. Can I take a message? Yeah, that'd be good. She wanted me to run a gun check of ownership on Matt Dwyer. Came back negative. That's good news, Sarge. A little late, but it's good news. Yeah, sorry. I got hung up because I thought I had a hit. An old register on a Matthew Dwyer Sr. owning a 9mm, but he lives clear out in Lake Hughes. Where's that cabin Matt said he was taking shy to? Uh, Lake Hughes. Didn't he say that was his father's? Yep. Somewhere? I just don't want to lose them. Oh, I won't let you. Ouch. The local customer you have called is away from the phone. Please hang up and try again. <laughs> I thought you'd be a little more relaxed by now. I am. I'm fine. I'm just checking my messages. Well, don't. Hmm. Come here, you. Now, you promised me your undivided attention, right? OK. Besides, you told Bobby where you were going, right? Right. You left him this address, this phone number. I did. He knows exactly where I am. There you go. So what are you worried about? I got something I want to show you. What? Come on, I'll show you. It's right over here. What is it? The view? You'll see. I give up. Oh, come on, Shy. You can guess. It belonged to my dad. And it goes with those bullets that you found in the trash. But it's not the gun that killed my wife. It isn't? No. It's a lot like it, though. You see, Marilyn was killed with her own gun. And that's somewhere far out in the ocean, but not near our house. No, that'd be stupid. Matt, no. This is the gun that I used on myself. You see, it was close enough to fool the doctors. And you know why I bought those jacketed slugs, right? To make us think that. It was the police. Very good. Or that bastard Piazza. <laughs> Still plenty of bullets left. Yeah, please let me go. Oh, Shy. I've read so many mysteries. It's so strange to be living one, you know? Like the one about the girl who knew too much. And the killer driven to explain. Oh! <laughs> 
Best. He admitted everything under question. What am I supposed to say? You were right. I was wrong. No. I'm just glad I got there in time. Me too. I think. You know, Shaf, we've met at a different time. I don't know, a different place. Knows what might happen. Just answer me one question. I'll try. In a world like this, how are we supposed to keep our hearts open? Irina? Yeah? Did you mean what you said? About another time and place? Yeah, I did. <laughs> 